So today I discovered that you can find Dratini in Pokemon Go at the AT&T Stadium, the San Francisco Giants Stadium in San Francisco by the train station. I actually caught like four of them there and that was pretty good. And I also discovered that there are a lot of Bulbasaurs near the Golden Gate Bridge. Also I caught one Dratini over there. I think that Dratini are like in the morning and then Bulbasaurs are in the evening. Not really sure. But either way, if you don't have time to watch this video, there's a little information so you don't have to watch anymore. And maybe you can catch some Dratini and Bulbasaur because I didn't realize that they were actually kind of a rare Pokemon until I just got home and started looking. It's like, oh, I wish I would have caught more. Ooh, I have almost enough to evolve to a Dragonair? I think this is the next one. Oh well. Anyway, here's the video. Well guys, today I'm in San Francisco. And it is fucking windy here. So I just came up the cal to the Caltrain station. And I'm gonna walk over to the stadium. Because I've been feeling kind of down. Oh, it's not very windy right here. I've been feeling kind of down lately. Just haven't been feeling, do feeling like doing much. And that's usually the time whenever it's, it's sometimes good just to get out and do something. So I rode the train up here. And I'm just gonna spend like six or seven hours on this fine Saturday playing Pokemon Go. And it's like, 85 degrees in South Bay, but it's like a nice 68 degrees here. So I was like, hey, I'll just come up here. I got myself a really big battery pack so I can charge my phone like multiple times. And yeah, let's just try to find a bunch of stuff. Okay, so here we are with or the location. There's the big stadium thing. And actually a stadium on the stadium. Look at that, that's kind of cool. I don't have any software for saving the video, but whatever, I can just do this. Well, I see that there are some of these Pokestops that have lures down on them. So that'll be a wonderful place to go catch some water Pokemon, most likely. There's tons of stuff around here. It's just awesome. Look at that. This is really nice. Yeah, if how you play the game is you just do that. But I'm sure you guys all know how to play Pokemon Go already. It's a very fun game. And this is by far the coolest thing here. A giant, well... Cantilevered Bridge, I guess it's called? I'm not really sure. It's awesome. Just look at that thing. Yeah, look at that. It's so cool. And there's the bay. Look at that. So basically it's a, it's a counterweight so that I can lift up. It's so amazing. Down there at the very end is a really nice place to go stand in basically in the bay like it's a walkway that goes out really far. Let's go down there and see if we can catch any Pokemon. This is the second time I've been here and it's still just as cool. So I've been catching new Pokemon like crazy. So just on the way over here, whoops, I caught 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24 new Pokemon, or 24, 24 Pokemon, and my first Roduo, when I just got here, my, I just got some new Pokemon, Tentacool and Oddish, I never had those before. So yeah, this is going pretty good. Oh, I also got Staryu and a couple of other ones. So this is actually being really good. I'm already getting a mini, mini new Pokemon. So my goal here actually today is to catch a bunch of Magikarp like that. And if I catch a bunch of Magikarp, then I can actually make a Gyarados. I can evolve one of them, but I need 400 of them, which is a crazy number. Oh, look at that. So evidently there is that one Pokestop out there, which is way out there on the pier. We'll have to go out there later. But right now I'm enjoying these three Pokestops here. Oh, look at that. It looks like they're raising it.
find it kind of funny how somebody moving one chair in the stadium is louder than an entire bridge moving. Isn't that funny? I don't know. I guess the bridge, I mean, the bridge is engineered very well though. Oh my God, look at that. A dratini. Oh, fuck yeah. I was actually wondering Dutrini. That Dutrini. Uh, whatever. Dratini. There we go. Awesome. Yes. Tons of Pokemon are popping up. Whoa, look at that. Well, I think I'm going to call a quiz here. Let's get up and go walk down here and see what's down here. I find it really cool how that's floating. It's really amazing. Water is just so cool. So there's some concert going on over there. Okay, so I've accrued quite a bit of Pokemon. And well, let's sort by number. Ah yeah. Lots of Psyducks. And go ahead and start clearing these out. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, tentacles, magic arps, tons of magic arps. Then some Cedratini. Nice. It's so nice, but there's not many Pokemon to be caught out here. So let's go back, back to the stadium. It looks like the shade's coming out, coming over really nicely. Well, I think I have enough candy to evolve a Psyduck now. So let's do my best one. Ooh, 913. That's now my strongest Pokemon. That is really good. There's a lot of Pokemon that I just don't don't really need. Like all of a sudden a bunch of Pidgeys and stuff like that came out of nowhere. But, whereas before it was a bunch of Dratin uh, Dratinis and whatnot. So, perhaps I should move on to a different location. Actually, metal. Cool. I could never imagine living in a weird place like this. So crowded, so windy, so weird. Then again, I have a hard time living in California in general, so whatever. Well, guys, that was kind of cool. So I had an Uber ride, and the guy didn't have time to drive me because he was actually getting, he only had like 10 more minutes to drive. So what he did was he paid me out of his own pocket and dropped me off in, at Battery Street. And it was like, he was really nice. And it's like, wow, cool. I actually got a free Uber ride halfway to my destination.
Man, it is windy up here. Well guys, I went to the wrong location and it's actually kind of paid off. So the wrong location is the better location. You see, I was going to go down there underneath the bridge to the military fort from uh, the uh, Civil War. But I, oh, whoops, interesting. Things, things are spawning everywhere, EVs, everything. But I guess there's proof. This is perfect. This mishap of putting me in the long, wrong location has brought me closer to more focus stops up here. Evidently, there are a shit ton over there. So I'm gonna go over there. Just look at all this craziness. And an oddish. That's actually really cool. This is kind of a neat place. Look at that stuff. Huh. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Wow, this is really nice. This is a nice little place back here. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh my god, the Pokemon. A Bulbasaur! Holy shit. I'm running low on items, so I really need to go to the, all these Pokestops and get a bunch of items. So I might start walking around in circles, since this is set up so perfectly here. So I wonder if that's the same color as the Golden Gate Bridge. What is that, like International Orange, whatever it's called? Most likely, since this is the Golden Gate Bridge Museum. Museum, the whatever. Oh, nice. Nice little table to sit down. Eh, it's pretty weak, but oh well. Let's see what all this commotion over here is. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, wow. Holy hell. I mean, this is just freaking awesome. Check that out. This was a wonderful mistake. Oh my god. Look at the shadow cast by the bridge. Go down here. Windy. Like if I let go of my thing, oh yeah, my camera strap's going. Yeah.
that's a pretty good wind. Oh boy, I think that's enough adventuring for me today. Although it's not really adventuring, that's just me finding new places. Oh, okay, maybe it is. Oh well. Either way, I think we're gonna catch more Pokemon and go home. So this is actually a pretty fun day. I'm happy that I just came up here and didn't really know what I was gonna do. So yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Special. I don't know, maybe I should do this more often. I really like this spot back here. It's a little it's a little peaceful compared to everywhere else. It's like right here you can just like be by yourself a little bit. Well, as much as possible out here, but oh well. I think that's pretty much it. It's almost like 8 p.m. now. I've been on here for six hours. So, oh, well, I've been in San Francisco for six hours. I'm gonna probably go back to the Panera across from the train station. That'll be like an hour Uber back at the most, hopefully not more. And I'll probably eat some soup and then I'll wait for the 10 o'clock train, the 10 p.m. train. Go home, get home by like midnight. Eh, whatever, it's a Saturday, so it works for me. Or is it Grimer? I forgot Grimer. Oh, it's Grimer, yeah, Grimer. Whatever, still. It's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah. Wow, if you guys need to get, get Bulbasaurs, come here. There's Bulbasaurs everywhere. I've gotten like six of them so far. Hell yeah. But again, so yeah, if you need a Bulbasaur... Oh, what? Anyway, Bulbasaurs. Haha, -ha, Bulbasaurs. and bought my train ticket so I have in the, for the future. I'm gonna go get some Panera and I'm actually an hour early. So I only have, I have, a, I have a little bit to spend at Panera. You know, even though our train system is shit, it's still cool looking. Not as cool as it could be though. Oh well. And I am back home. I am kind of beat. I actually happened to bump into some friends on at the Caltrain station and so yeah I sat with them and talked and chatted and stuff like that so it was really nice. It was a really nice ride home and yeah I just really happy. I don't feel like San Francisco is a good enough like city or it's, it's not a good enough place to really merit at least it doesn't make me happy enough to actually visit it by itself like when I look back on the day, the highlights are catching Pokemon and talking with my friends. The city itself though, a lot of the landmarks is kind of like, mm, it's cool to see it, but may, but not worth the time to go out and see them, at least in my opinion. But then again, I just, I see San Francisco as a, well I see also in California, it's kind of a unwelcoming, unfriendly, kind of depressing place. I don't know, that's just how I see it. I just, I, it doesn't work with me for some reason. The, the, the culture or the architecture, just a bunch of stuff. It just, it doesn't really work with me that well. But I did not realize how rare Dratini was. And so I'm actually pretty happy that I got like five or six Dratinis. There's a little like dragon Pokemon. I might try to find some more because I'd really like to get a Dragonair because you can evolve it from I think Dratini, Dragonite, to Dragonair. I think that's what it is. Oh well, I mean, so yeah, this is a this is a really fun day. It, I, I spent like, I think like 50 or 60 dollars on like Uber and train tickets and stuff like that, but oh well. I love how Pokemon has risen in the in the public view so much recently. It's amazing because like I've been into Pokemon since like 1998 or so. I remember the first Pokemon episode I ever saw was Snow Way Out. It was like episode 53 or something like that, and that was the first episode of the anime that got me hooked. We actually watched it. Me and my mom watched it after we saw the Pokemon movie, like Mewtwo Strikes Back or whatever the actual title of it is. 
And so yeah, it's just like, Pokemon has been a big part of my life. And I have a lot of po Pokemon memorabilia and I've played a lot of the games and stuff like that. And I tried not to get into Pokemon Go because I, don't, I, I, have, a, I have a job and I have a YouTube channel. Actually, four YouTube channels. And, well, only one YouTube channel I really give a shit about. The other ones, uh, any other YouTube channel is just like, ah, uh, just, uh, uh, just like doodling something and throwing it on the internet. This is the main channel that I actually right, kind of care about. And, well, either way, so I was trying not to spend too much time on Pokemon, so I tried to avoid Pokemon Go, but then some of my coworkers were like, you gotta try it, you gotta try it, and I was like, fine. And now I'm like twice the level as them, and I have, and I have like far more Pokemon, and I'm spending hours every day getting Pokemon, as I do. I mean, I'm not doing it too crazily. It's just like, whenever I'm gonna be like catching up on YouTube, instead of watching on my laptop here, I just take my laptop down the street to the park. I mean, it's, it's, it's still, it fits into my schedule, because then I'll be watching YouTube videos while catching Pokemon. So yeah. yeah. Pokemon is a really good way to calm yourself down. Like, I feel really calm after this day, and I, I feel less stressed and less like, ugh, hectic. And collecting things, collecting Pokemon, especially with this app, is just I find it a really good way to just distance yourself from anything you're worrying about. At least I find it. It's very easy to use that as a tool for that, and it's really nice. It's really relaxing and all that kind of stuff. It, yeah, I mean, it's just, it is. I, I, I haven't really thought about this enough to really m say anything meaningful about it, but yeah, it's just kind of interesting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See ya!